Allow me to introduce to you my daily jotter. This daily jotter is what I consider my handy dandy notebook. It's lightweight, flexible, and goes with me just about everywhere. Not only do I love the fact that it's light and portable, but I also love the fact that it lays completely flat when writing and it is also very friendly with a lot of my darker inks and writing tools that I use on a regular basis. Best of all, this notebook is so budget friendly that I actually have quite a collection stockpiled on my shelf because I just can't get enough of using this as an everyday carry. Now, if you're curious to know what do I use these notebooks for, what could I possibly write about and how it helps me stay productive, let me show you. While yes, there are some days and there are some times that I do use my phone and certain apps to keep track of lists or maybe tasks, I just love the feel of having pen and paper. It helps me retain certain memories, certain events and appointments, and also it just makes me feel more productive. Not only can a notebook be useful in keeping track of tasks and daily reminders, but it could also be archived for you to look back at and read those special memories, quotes, or just information that you've acquired. Now in the past, I would use sticky notes or loose sheets of paper, but I found keeping everything in one place just was easier for me to organize and it would give me um, a sense of routine structure where I'm just grabbing for the same thing all the time and my brain just got trained to know where to look and turn to um, when it came to to-do lists or schedules or um, just maybe diary entries that I'd like to keep up with or transfer over. Now in my next video, I will share uh, more in depth of how I structure my day um, because I am loving this notebook so much that I think I'm going to use this for my 2023 lineup. And again, I'll show that in the next video, how I have that um, kind of, you know, working around my schedule. But for now, these are just a couple of little pages that I had just showing you that this notebook is kind of my brain dump. I just jot down ideas, maybe orders, home decor ideas that I have, um, things that just run through my mind that I don't want to keep archived and just kind of throw it onto paper so I can just come back to. So it doesn't have to be anything special. You don't have to be intimidated to make this perfect. And again, this is another reason why I love keeping this notebook because it's so budget friendly. Here in the United States, I get this particular one at Walmart. Uh, I think at this current moment of the video, it retails for 97 cents. So you can't beat that for 160 pages. So if I feel like some things can be discarded or if I need to maybe hand off some information, I can rip out the pages or I can just archive this and start a whole brand new one. So each month I can start fresh. Now for my regular subscribers, you know that I am no stranger to pocket-sized notebooks. I love carrying some type of uh, notebook with me because you never know when inspiration or you know the next big idea may strike. So for years, especially this is <laughs> where the inspiration for this YouTube channel came from. For years, I've talked about you know how I set up pocket size notebooks and I will leave that down link down below if you're interested in all of my other playlists but the difference between then and now is now I have a notebook where I don't feel as intimidated or I don't feel like it has to be perfect with a particular setup and that restriction has been lifted due to uh yeah price points but also the flexibility the flexibility of the the size and the amount of pages the performance i love this notebook so much that i even got a custom cover designed for this my love for pocket notebooks has remained true for years and this is a custom cover by a maker called lorite in the past before um if i didn't want anything you know as bulky if i was going on a little trip or if i was just running errands I would use lighter notebooks. Field Notes, some of you are familiar with that um, American-based brand, or also there are thinner notebooks that you can purchase, the Moleskin pocket inserts, Traveler's Company, they have passport inserts, but retail value, you can get you know, the Traveler's Company passport, 
this even though the paper quality is really good it's fountain pen friendly it holds up with darker inks your retail value for something like this is about you know two three dollars plus depending on the retailer moleskin inserts you know everyone is uh, pretty familiar with the moleskin brand it's pretty accessible at a lot of bookstores and retailers but again a three pack may run you about nine ten twelve dollars depending on the retailer i try to get these on sale on amazon or marshall ross tj maxx here in the united states and then there's uh, field notes one little insert will run you about at this time of the video like five dollars so of course with that price point i'm going to make sure that i'm not just scribbling down any randomness and uh, making full use of my pages but with that being said i did enjoy using a pocket notebook because it inspired me to um you know just to write more to journal more and that is where i got my first leather custom uh cover for a pocket size by larite right here this is a field notes uh size i asked the shop owner i referred it to as a field notes and he referred it to as a field notes cover too because it has a little bit more room than your tr traditional um i guess like pocket he, he leaves like a little bit of room here and these are all custom i asked for these specific you know card slots with these amount of pockets with this specific belt closure so my subscribers you are not new to la right locale you know i love that um shop because i can pretty much have anything tailored to whatever notebook i'm obsessed with so with that being said my past obsession was, you know, Traveler's Company leather notebooks. I've even, you know, made my own leather notebooks in the past. But being that I was inspired by my moleskin, I love this elastic closure here. I thought, you know what, let me have a custom cover designed for my love of this <laughs> notebook. This spiral notebook because it does not come with any closure um it is a little soft cover right here but i imagine if i carry around every day it may start to you know get a little bit of wear and tear plus the while the coiling or the spiral spine does not bother me sometimes i can find that if i just throw it in my handbag especially during travels it could get caught or snagged on um you know on things here so i have Ta-da! My custom cover for my daily jotter. Again, I love this notebook so much that I went out of my way to get um, a beautiful custom cover and the shop owner, Diamond, did not, did not disappoint. So I came up with this idea, again, inspired by my other pocket notebooks, the Moleskin. He's never done this before, so we kind of <laughs> worked together where um, he had sewn an elastic closure and it's pretty sturdy and ta-da here i have pockets designed i asked him to put his logo because he stamps his logo right here on the back this isn't the first cover i've gotten from him he has two logos he has the cow le cow and then he has um the oh here's the le cow and then the le right i asked him to put the le right logo and I wanted it to be in, um, where is it on this one? On the front. So with this custom, I asked him, you know what? Let's put it here on the front. I think it looks very nice, very sharp. And this particular leather is his camel. It's his camel leather. And I would say, yeah, it's pretty, it looks pretty camelish to me. Um, I would say it's like a warm, a warm, like, cinnamony pumpkin but not bright orange it's, it's just a nice cover and i got it just for my pocket notebook i like my notebooks flush here so being that this is going to be my daily jotter for sure moving into 2023 i just have it designed where it can slip on the back pocket but i can still use the back pocket here and then I can add another notebook if I need it to. And then the closure, the elastic closure. I love this. Disregard this. This is my little, <laughs> my little pencil board, my DIY pencil board that I made with a scrap piece of paper 
uh, actually it's like cardstock and then I got masking tape or packing tape to add and there's your little DIY. So every day, this is where I keep tasks that can roll over so I don't have to keep writing the same thing and um, they can just transfer onto like the next day. So today I would have, you know, the errands for the day, but these specific tasks would be something that could technically wait until maybe like the end of the week, like, you know, renew insurance or clean out you know, the garage, something like that. I could just keep rolling over as I continue to go through the day. Again, I'll go over more of how I set up my routine and use this as more of a productive day keeper, scheduler, I guess you could say, but just a little sneak peek. I am playing around with this uh, before I finalize it for December and for January, 2023, but I like how I have added um, a day, a day for each page and Right here, I have the dates on the right side because my intentions were to write, you know, my errands. Let me see if I have a page. Uh, my intentions were, yeah, like one side would be specifically for errands, you know, things to do. And then on the back side, so here's an example, like some days are very just uneventful, nothing going on. But on the other side, this is where, you know, if I have any thoughts or journalings, I know that it's going to be on the left side. So the right side are errands, tasks for that particular day. And then on the other side would be uh, journal entries. Here though, I didn't have any errands and I just found myself just having, having to um, journal on that particular side. So again, more details <laughs> to come, but I just wanted to quickly show you, you know, what it exactly I carry around because on Instagram, I show this a lot. And a lot of you have been seeing um, my green cover. So you wanted to know details, like what is it that I carry inside? What are the inserts? Who is the maker? So I hope this helps on what I use as a daily jotter. And um, it's really nothing special, the, the notebook itself, but to me, <laughs> it's special. Um, I see it as very valuable, very therapeutic, very helpful. And I share this part all the time here on my channel, but this little um, pocket insert or cover was inspired by my very first custom <laughs> leather cover by the shop owner. And this is an A5 Slim. A5 Slim because I love using moleskin notebooks. I've shared this art journal before or my journal. I, I will leave down the, or up here if you want to see a full flip through, but not to make this video too long. I just love the moleskin um, notebooks for numerous reasons that I explained in that video. So this shop that I came across, Lorite Lacau, they make custom covers and oh my gosh, what a godsend. I always refer to Diamond, the shop owner, as my secret, my secret tailor because I, he can literally make a cover for any cover size um, or design. So I'm not limited and I have full creative flexibility on, you know, what I want. So if I want elastic, I can have elastic. If I don't, then there's no elastic. If I want, you know, um, vertical, horizontal, secretarial pockets, you name it. He is very open um, to your, you know, ideas. This is my... I guess since we're here, let me just show you my other addition, the brownie. Okay. I shared this in my last video. I love his brownie leather. He calls it brownie. It's his brown, dark brown leather cover. And this is a five slim again, because I like it to accommodate, uh, the, the moleskin notebook. No, the moleskins are slightly slimmer. They're not as large as an a five. Uh, they're about, what is it like half an inch slimmer? but I love this size so much. It just feels so comfortable. It feels like home to me. So yes, they may look a little similar, but on this hide, you'll see that this brown is a little lighter. This probably got darker with time and wear. It has like a very, um, it almost has to me like a purple maroon undertone. And look how pebbly this cover is. And this is the total opposite. It's smooth, it's very shiny. Um, so it's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get with his um, leather covers. But this time the difference is I asked for contrasting stitching and I have um, 
two pockets in the inside and I asked for contrasting stitching on this pocket with two um, elastics so that way I can use it with multiple inserts or just one insert. So this is an A5 Slim. I've shared this before. Um, this is like my ink swatch uh, test book, but you can see it doesn't have a closure. So yeah, this could be a good thing or a bad thing. A good thing because I have variety in leather covers for the notebooks I love. A bad thing is <laughs> it, gets, uh, it gets pretty addicting because it's just so fun. It's fun knowing that you have creative reign over um, what you want to, you know, have in your collection. Okay, so all that to say that I have a favorite cover, leather cover to go with my favorite notebook. I got two, by the way, okay? <laughs> I have two because um, I'll explain in my 2023 lineup. This is a different color. This is a different leather. I don't know if you can see this is a little bit, you can see it's a little, it's browner where this has more of a yellow undertone. This is his glossy, glossy old boots. So it is shiny. Um, it probably will get a nice patina, but this leather is thicker. And I asked for these, you know, the double pockets with the stitching and the two elastics. So the design is not as minimal as the camel. If you like thinner leathers, definitely look into his camel. This is thin, it's lightweight. Um, this has a, a little bit more structure to it. But I got this because the intention was, well, again, I'll go over me more details in the next video, but these are going to be more for my um, staple bound inserts. And then I can use these here. I'm, I'm just imagining like if I go traveling, um, I may use bound notebooks. That's one thing I like about the moleskin versus maybe the field notes. The field notes is staple bound where the moleskin and paper quality is the same. So paper quality, you know, you're still, they're not, you know, fountain pen friendly per se. There's a little bit of feathering and bleed through for each of them. And the, um, yeah, the, the darker inks don't hold up as well, but when I travel and I'm out and about, I just use regular like ballpoint pens. I do like that the moleskin is sewn bound and the price point is a little bit more budget friendly because again, you can get a three pack of these for um, under $10 where these may be a three pack of like 12 or $15 and you get more pages. This I think has like 62 or 64, um, let me find it, where does it say? <laughs> 64 pages, and then this has 48. And so, but the reason why I got this cover was so that way I can add them here within the elastics. Okay, I'm so sorry this video is long. I'm kind of going off on a tangent because I'm so excited <laughs> about my new covers. I just had to share this, but all this to say, I love pocket notebooks. I love carrying around a pocket jotter um, because again, you never know when ideas strike. I never have to worry about my battery dying when using uh, notebooks or it overheating. And that did happen one day. I was at the beach and I was writing a log on my phone and it started to overheat. So that just confirmed it. I'm just gonna stick to paper and pen. It's reliable, it's archivable. And look how nice this is. I got the elastic. On this one, you can tell that he uh, he sewed the elastic within the leather flaps, but I'll keep you updated on the durability. I imagine it's going to be pretty durable. I haven't had any problems with the other covers in the past, but oh my gosh, I just love this new notebook that I, um, that I thought of and that <laughs> Diamond was able to bring to life for me. You guys, I can't stop raving about his shop because he's the only one that I've come across where he's, again, flexible with whatever you envision, he can produce it. So, wow, you know, like finally I have, <laughs> I think this is another reason why I love the moleskins because of this elastic closure. And um, this elastic's pretty, pretty stir sturdy. So now I have one for my, everyday carry my favorite 
again, I, did I mention I like my notebooks flush? And also I asked for um, the, the pocket size. So that way, when I'm not using this one, because it's not exactly the dimensions of a pocket, it's almost like a six, almost, because it's four, in, four inches by six. If you look at a pocket size, it's larger. So when I asked Diamond to make me these inserts, I just said pocket size uh, or field notes size, and he makes them a little bit larger. So, but you could see that the notebooks that I love, they are larger than pocket size. But this is great because, you know, it's this cover is universal in terms of pocket notebooks. I can use a moleskin. I can um, use, let me see, I have other other brands here, the Leuchterm. I can use this, the Leuchterm, Leuchterm. Put that in there. So yeah, I can change them out. I know these already have the la uh, the elastics on here, but I like that I can just stack on stack them with other papers or double them up with other inserts. Use this and then use maybe a slimmer notebook. But again, the next video will explain my setup and the details more in depth. Just wanted to come in and share with you this new cover for my favorite jotter, my favorite everyday carry that a lot of you guys have been asking me about on, um, on Instagram. So I love pocket notebooks so much that I have leather covers now to protect them because I carry them everywhere. So if you like to carry around a particular notebook or a particular size, let me know what that is down below. Um, as far as my everyday pens, I don't really have a particular favorite. I do have like favorite journaling pens, but I I noticed that I prefer click, okay, like click ballpoint versus the cap because you know you could lose the cap and it's just one extra step versus the click, you just click. But throughout the years, I noticed I gravitate towards multicolored barrels. I like that there is a variety, you know, the the red, the blue the green, I can color code, especially if I use this as a daily schedule or um, the, the different colors just help my eyes know in how I categorize, categorize certain things and events, which again will be explained in the next video because this is already too long. But that is all I wanted to share with you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.